over over you again at least for now there is uh, uh, complete silence of the guns and we have embarked in the implementation of the comprehensive peace agreement which we signed in 2005 although we are not uh, implementing it the way it should have been implemented we are moving still moving uh, to to complete the implementation there are problems we would want to know in details what the problems are we we have uh, a problem on the demarcation of the borders which we have not completed we have the problem of the population census coming in april four weeks away from now but people are not clear whether population census exercise will take place or not it is something that uh, will have to see because the southern Sudanese who were displaced by the war to the north have not come back home. The refugees who fled to neighboring countries and to diaspora have not been brought back home. And so it is also going to be a very difficult exercise. And you always hear from the media that uh, Southern Sudanese uh, are five million. If uh, two point something has been killed during the war, then you remain with less than three. They say two million have been displaced, you know, displaced, or another two million uh, in exile. Then, if you see the figures and then you go down to see, okay, then how many people are in Southern Sudan? You will find that the population of Southern Sudan is even finished, that we are even less than one million. And this is a very terrible, uh, a terrible thing because uh, the people who are actually plotting all these ideas intend to deny the people of Southern Sudan the rights that they deserve in the South or in the country. That is in terms of uh, wealth sharing, in terms of power sharing. If they are to be reduced to be less, then they will get very little from the, from the center, from the national uh, uh, wealth or power sharing. This is, what, this is the, 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 the intention. But we want to make it uh, the opposite that the people of Southern Sudan are not less than 10 million and uh, will have to be counted and so that they get whatever they share. What is the, the reason for this uh, exercise of uh, uh, census? Just to know the people for planning, proper planning in whatever you will want to do, basic services to the people and whatever that you will plan for. So this is... Uh, uh, the first point, we have the problem of a BI. A BI issue remains uh, a problem because the protocol has not been uh, uh, implemented. There is no administration now in a BI. And so people remain without anybody that is giving them services in the area. The the elections that will come in 2009 are also going to be a problem. And uh, the, so far we have not agreed on the election bill. I was hearing yesterday that some agreement have been reached, but uh, our team in the in in, 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 in those uh, negotiations did not inform us whether they have really agreed or they have not they have not we expect also problems to be to be within the elections because our our partners 
uh, I want to, to 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 take the exercise in a way that they will get the the, the votes to win the elections, and uh, they are not so enthusiastic in the in this exercise because they may lose, and if they lose, then there may be chaos in the country because they may not accept the results of elections where they are not the winners and so it is something to be to be seen what will happen everything is actually squeezed by the time because we are running out of the time because if you see now the border demarcation the exercise of the population census, the elections, and then the referendum. There is no time. And a lot has not been done you know, in all these things. So this is uh, the status of the, of the CPA. In terms of the government of Southern Sudan, we have been struggling since we, we came into into, into into the government how to establish the structures because there was no government in the south before and uh, there was nothing at all that people have been uh, talking about so we embarked on establishing the structures from from zero and we are now moving uh, after establishing the governments, starting with the government of Southern Sudan, the Southern Sudan Legislative Assembly, and down to the ten states, ten governments in the ten states, their assemblies, and down to the local governments, and down up to the uh, village level. So it was not an easy thing to to undertake and. Uh, we have done a lot, but uh, we still have a lot to do because the services are not uh, yet going to the people the way we would have wished them to go to the people. Uh, connections, internal connections with the roads. Roads are not uh, that much going. We were struggling with the, with the security situation first because the LRA uh, was here in the uh, the LRA was here in Juba and was terrorizing the civil population all around because they were being supported by the by the Khartoum government because they were accusing uh, the president of Uganda, President Museveni, that he was supporting us during the war and so they, they supported the Lord's resistance army. The Lord's Resistance Army was actually committing a lot of atrocities, and you have heard of them. Uh, when we came in, we told them, well, we did not get them, but we, in my first statement here in, uh, in Juba, I gave the statement that let us find out where about the, the whereabouts of the LRA leaders. If they are here in Juba, then you tell them to to open up negotiations with the government of Uganda. And we are ready to facilitate uh, their contact. If they don't want to talk with the government of Uganda to find peace, like what we have done with the government of Khartoum, then they will have to relocate from southern Sudan to another country to go and wage their war against Uganda, but not from here. If they don't want to accept peace and they don't want to move away from here, 